Do you think that the man in this photo is a real scientist? In science fiction, scientists may be portrayed as wide-eyed and zany, randomly mixing chemicals in a lab, but that portrayal couldn't be further from the truth. Real scientists are disciplined professionals, and scientific investigations are very organized and methodical. Investigations in Science Investigations are at the heart of science. They are how scientists add scientific knowledge and gain a better understanding of the world. Scientific investigations produce evidence that helps answer questions. Even if the evidence cannot provide answers, it may still be useful. It may lead to new questions for the investigation. As more knowledge is discovered, science advances. Steps of a Scientific Investigation Scientists investigate the world in many different ways. In different fields of science, researchers may use different methods and be guided by different theories and questions. However, most scientists follow the general steps outlined here. So let's look at the scientific method. How many angels can dance on the head of a pen? This is a question that has been pondered over the centuries. Can it be answered using the scientific method? The goal of science. The goal of science is to answer questions about the natural world. Scientific questions must be testable. Which of these two questions is a good scientific question and which is not? What is the age of our planet, the Earth? How many angels can dance on the head of a pen? The first is a good scientific question that can be answered by using radiometric dating and other techniques. The second question cannot be answered using data, so it's not a good scientific question. Scientific method. Scientists use the scientific method to answer questions. The scientific method is a series of steps that help investigate a question. Often, students learn that the scientific method is a linear process that goes like this. Ask a question, and the question is based on one or more observations on the data from a previous experiment. Do some background research. Create a hypothesis. Do experiments or make observations to test the hypothesis. Gather data. Formulate a conclusion. The process, however, doesn't always go in a straight line. A scientist might ask a question and then do some background research and discover that the question needed to be asked in a different way, or that a different question should be asked. A flowchart of how science works is much more accurate than a simple list. Ask a question. Now let's ask a scientific question. Remember, it must be testable. As we can see here, the average global temperature has been rising since the record keeping began in 1880. We know that carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases trap in heat in the atmosphere. This leads us to a question. Is the amount of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere changing? This is a good scientific question because it is testable. Here we can see atmospheric carbon dioxide has been increasing at Mount Loa Observatory in Hawaii since 1958. The small ups and downs of the red line are seasonal variations. The black line is the annual average. How has carbon dioxide in the atmosphere changed over these 50 plus years? About how much has atmospheric CO2 risen between 1958 and 2011 in parts per million? Well, if you look at where the graph starts and compare it to where the graph ends, the parts per million number starts at 320 and ends at about 400. So it's increased by about 80 parts per million. So we've answered the question using data from research that has already been done. If scientists had not been monitoring CO2 levels over the years, we'd have had to start these measurements now. Because this question can be answered with data, it's testable. Let's summarize. Investigations are at the heart of science. They produce evidence that helps scientists answer questions and better understand the world. Scientists use scientific method to answer questions about the natural world. 
first scientists ask a question that they want an answer to. Background research is essential for better understanding the question and being able to move to the next step.